Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Martin, and I'm the Education Coordinator here at BNI Olympian, and I'm looking forward to coordinating the education, providing some education, and maybe asking some of our uh, fellow members to provide us some education for the next year within BNI Olympian. Today I've been asked to talk about traffic lights, which is the wonderful things you can see on the screen just there. Um, it's very colourful and it's very visual and it's very helpful to see how we are doing as members within BNI. Um, it ties into two of our core values of BNI, um, one of which is accountability and the other one is recognition. We recognise those that are doing above and beyond what we um, expect of them within BNI and we keep those accountable for what we say we're going to be able to commit to do within BNI. We make sure that all of our members, including ourselves, are doing just that. Effectively, we track the performance um, of us as members from everything from our attendance to the amount of business we're passing. And that is uh, then put into this spreadsheet here, which we call the traffic lights, because we score people in green, yellow, red, and gray. Green means you're doing absolutely fantastically. And um, ultimately, uh, the more you are giving, the more you should receive because we believe in givers gain, right? Yellow means you're definitely on track and there's just a few things you might need to tie up just to get up a few extra points. Red, we should definitely try some better. And look, I'm in the red at the moment, so I definitely need to try a bit harder. And uh, gray, most of you are newer members. And definitely if you're in the gray and you're a new member, nothing really too much to worry about. As long as you're doing the one-to-ones and getting to know people, that's the most important thing. So uh, we're going to go into um, how we how we can use this information that's going to help us. Firstly, we can log on to it from BNI trafficlights.co.uk. But this information now is split out into different areas and then how many points that are assigned to each of those areas. So absenteeism. This is the easiest of 15 points you can get within the traffic lights. It's out of 100, so it's easily 15% uh, of your uh, green score you can get because all you've got to do is attend the meeting. As long as you are not absent from any meetings, you will get 15 points. And that includes if you have a sub, if you have a sub that include that counts as attending, it's purely only if you don't turn up to any meeting, would you lose some points. So that's 15 points you could easily get. And if you notice on your score that you're um, on five or 10 points or even zero, then you just need to make sure that you try and cover every single meeting uh, in the next few months to get that score back up. Um, referrals per week, um, you can see that they worked out on an average. So for the past six months, it will then divide it by, effectively it divides the amount of referrals you pass by 24, and that is the number um, that you're based on. Um, if you can get to 1.2 on average, which is just over um, one uh, week, um, then you can get 20 points. So it's a really high scoring round is the referrals. Um, most people are probably around the one per week, which gets you 15 points. But if you can just go above that, you can get to the 20 points, which is great. Now, the next one is thank you for the business. Now, thank you for the business, again, is a fairly easy one to get because most referrals will result in a, a, at least a thousand pounds or more of thank you for the business. So in six months uh, period, if you can pass up to seven and a half thousand pounds then that's 10 points but if you can get just over that then you can get 15. If you pass between 500 and two and a half thousand that is five points and under 500 pounds you get zero points. Remember that's over six months time. Um, mine's at 71 and we'll talk about um, how we can make sure that those numbers get a little bit higher in just a second um, but my number should be a lot higher than that most definitely and I'll look at that. Visitors per week, again, average over the last 24 weeks. If you can bring a visitor every two weeks, you get your 20 points, another high scoring round. Um, if you can average just between uh, one a month and one every two weeks, so let's say one every three weeks, you'll get 15 points. And you can see the averages there to try and get your points. If you notice your average score is just under here. And if you notice that that is just under the threshold, let's make that your focus for the next week or the next month. Because if you um, can build that up and get that up five more points, that five more points could put you in a different color within the traffic lights. Testimonials, another easy round. We talked about the attendance and getting 15 points for just not uh, missing a meeting. Testimonials, all you have to do is once every six months, write a letter of, uh, of reference about someone within the chapter that you've done business with. You may have passed them a referral yourself and it may be yourself that's talking about how great the service was, but maybe you've referred them to a friend of yours that the friend has then said, oh yeah, they did an excellent job. You can then write up that as a, as a testimonial and read it out at the meeting. So long as it's read out within the meeting, that counts as a testimonial and you'll get your five points for your testimonial there. 
one-to-ones, you need to average one every two weeks to get your 10 points. I think that's really achievable. I don't think we need to worry about the um, one every month and only getting five points. I think we can all easily get one every two weeks to get our 10 points for uh, one-to-ones. And finally, our chapter educational units. Every hour is one CEU, and so every three hours we get five points within the CEUs. And within six months, if you can do up to nine hours of training, you're going to get your 15 points on your CEUs. These are really easy to do if you log into BNIUniversity.com. Um, log in there. You might have to create a new user because it's not tied up to your BNI Connect membership. You spend some time on there or you attend some of the BNI webinars that are on the BNI website and you're going to get some points for that, but you have to record them within Connect. So just quickly, how do we get to building up these scores? Well, my thank you for the business is £71. I've passed well more than that in the last six months. So what can I do? I can ring around the people that I've passed referrals to in the last six months and make sure they've thanked me for that business. The referrals, maybe I haven't tracked them. Let, let's look through our emails, look through our, our invoices and see if we've been past referrals that have resulted into business that we haven't been that we haven't had on BNI Connect. And let's make sure that they're recorded on BNI Connect. Absenteeism is obvious. Let's attend every meeting and find a sub. It's so important that we're at every meeting. Visitors, this is where we're all going to struggle. Visitors are particularly difficult right now, but I think we could really put a push on visitors this year. And I think in the next few education slots, we'll talk about how to bring more visitors. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll pass back to Anthony.